everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Disney haul. I can't believe it's been four weeks since my last Disney haul. I feel like I just recorded it yesterday, so that's pretty weird. But uh, yeah, I've been to Disney Store a couple of times and a couple of other places I've got Disney items from as well. So my last haul was more of a Disney Store haul with a couple of items on the end. Whereas this one's just a general Disney one because I've got quite a few items from outside of Disney Store as well. So let me show you what I got. So the first item is this bell case from Argos. I know you are probably thinking, Sarah, that really is for children. Like, it is for children. And yes, it is for children, but I really wanted it. Um, I haven't really had the chance to go to Disneyland Paris, although exciting news. I have booked to go to Disneyland Paris next week. I am so excited. In fact, when this goes up on Tuesday, so I'm recording this on the Thursday, so it'll go up on Tuesday and then on the Friday after I put this video up, so three days after this video is on, I will be going to Disneyland Paris. I haven't been since I was like, oh, I don't know, 17, so almost 10 years. Oh, work out how old I am. And thank you to everyone on Instagram that helped because I put up a post saying like, how do people go to Disneyland Paris all the time? Like, I can't afford it and I really want to go. And loads of people um, mentioned going by coach and that's what we've booked. But I'm not going into it too much because obviously this is a whole video. But if anybody wants to see like how I booked it and how I did it once I've been, then I will do that if you want. And I will be recording the whole thing. So there will be vlogs coming up. I'll be doing two videos a week. So one will be my normal video on a Tuesday and then on a Friday I'll be putting up a vlog. It'll probably be in three or four parts of the vlog because we're going for two full days. So we'll just see how it pans out. But I just thought I'd let you know. So look out for those videos when I come back. Okay, so on to the actual haul. Sorry, I just had to get that out of the way because a lot of people helped me to organise that and I'm just really excited about going and I just can't wait to get some Disneyland Paris merchandise. But anyway, stuff that I bought in the UK the last month. Um, we'll start with this bell case. Basically because I didn't know I was going to Disneyland Paris when I bought this, but I can't afford the big Cogsworth or Lumiere really at the minute. I'm sure you've seen them. Cogsworth is a proper clock and Lumiere lights up. He's a proper can like candlestick holder. Obviously he's not a real candlestick holder, but he looks like one. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get them when I'm Disneyland Paris. I don't know. But in the meantime I got these. So this was $9.99 from Argos and you got Mrs. Potts and Chipper in here I believe. Because I, yep. So it just opens up. I'm gonna use the case to store things in. Um, I make a lot of uh, shoes for me and my sister's companies. Um, so I have to like DIY a lot of things. Um, so that's great for like keeping crystals and glue in. So I'm gonna use that for that. So the case is great for that. And then it came with a little Mrs. Potts and a little tube. Oh, they're so cute. And I put these on my kitchen windowsill. I just think they're amazing. It also came with a Cogsworth. I'm sure you can see them in the corner there. Hopefully I'll have the more life size one in a few weeks time. But um, so it came with a little Cogsworth and his little pendulum swings and his little dials go. He doesn't like work, but you can move his bits. That sounded so wrong. Um, and then there's a little Lumiere here, yay. Um, and he lights up as well. I don't really know if you can see that. He's on at the minute. So that's off. <coughs> and that's on. And he ca he came with the batteries already in. So he just works when you get him. So he's a little Lumiere. I couldn't find it on um, in the catalogue. I found it on the website. And then when I got into the store, I wrote down the catalogue number or the item number from the website and I typed it straight into the search thing and then bought it that way because it wasn't in the in-store catalogue. So that's $9.99 from Argos and I would look online for that. So the next items are these really cute little lip balms. I'm sure you've seen them. They're in the Disney store. These were $5.99. Um, my Disney store, as much as I love Disney obviously, but my Disney store is crap. Like, it never really gets things in. But when I went in the other day, they had these and I really wanted these because I use lip balms a lot. Like, I mean a lot. So I will show you. Vanilla, raspberry and cherry. So this is the vanilla one. Oh my god. So the Lumiere one is like the best. It's like vanilla. I thought the cherry would be my favourite, which is Belle. But Lumia is my favourite. And then my little pot, Mrs. Potts, is raspberry. Ooh, actually, that's really nice. I do find that the Mrs. Potts and Belle are quite similar, but they're both still really nice. 
yeah, they were $5.99 and they are in the Disney store. So the next item is hidden behind me. Oh, oh, I pulled my back earlier. Ow, I don't know how I did it, but I did. Um, I got a chip cup. I've never had a chip cup. I know I've got the mini one in the set now, but this is like a proper life-size chip. I mean, look, it's a chip. He's plastic. He was £4.50, which is a great price. Um, I'm hoping to get the proper chip cup when I go to Disneyland Paris. I don't know if you can get that one. I don't know if it's like a Disney World thing. Anyway, um, if I don't get it, it's fine because this was £4.50. It's not at the top of my list anymore because I've got this one. And he's really cute and he's really great and he was £4.50. So the next item is this little clock. I know you're thinking, yes, Sarah, that's also for children. But I don't care. Um, I got this in Tesco and it was... I think it was only like three or four pound like it was really cheap it was in the sale basically I went to like the games and electronics bit and DVDs and on the end there was a load of sale stuff just put a, clock, um, a battery in it and it's a proper little ticking one and it's an alarm clock it's really loud and um, it's got a light on the back as well I'll give you a close-up of that yeah so that's in Tesco in the sale and I got that about a week ago so there was loads as well so definitely check out Tesco because sometimes you shouldn't really always rely on your mobile phone as an alarm clock because sometimes they just turn off in the middle of the night whereas this won't unless the battery dies. Next items are from Scene Sprees. This is the Jungle Book live action DVD. I never got to see these in the pictures. Um, I don't know why I just didn't get round to seeing it at the pictures. So I really wanted it when I came out on the day of release so it might not be available now. If you bought the DVD you got a free Jungle Book 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 um i haven't had a chance to read it yet but i love reading books and i'd actually like to read the original jungle books so that's really cool and yeah you can probably get them both cheaper soon but i just thought it was a nice deal and we were in sainsbury's doing our shopping so that was 9.99 sainsbury's the next item is this card from i got this from asda if you haven't seen these basically there's about six or seven of them in fact, I will get the picture off Clinton's Instagram and show you. So this is the picture on the Clinton's retail Instagram and there's one, two, three, four, five, six cards. People are collecting them and putting them in like picture frames. Oh, my back. I'm sorry. I pulled my back about an hour ago and it's killing. It's hard to breathe. Um, but I thought that that was a really good idea because you can't really see the happy birthday down the bottom. There's just like... Ariel, a nice picture of that, and then a little kind of paragraph about. I was going to frame all of them and like put them down in a row, like between doors where it's like a small gap, and I thought they would go really nice. Um, but apparently they're in Clintons, but I've never seen them in a Clintons, and I've checked quite a few Clintons, and apparently they're in Asda, and they're not in my local Asda or my second local Asda. But I found them. If anyone lives in the northeast, I found these in the Metro Centre Asda, the big one. And they had, like, they didn't have one of them. They didn't have the Snow White one. I'm pretty sure they had the rest of them. So if anyone in the North East knows anywhere other than, like, Metro Center Asda, let me know because I really want all of these before they disappear. And I got this one for quite a few weeks now. Um, I know they're still available, just not around the North East, as per usual. But this was £1.50, and they should be in Clinton's or Asda, as far as I know. It just so happens that I was going to get a drink. Oh, that's good tea. Ooh. And this is the next item. If you watched my last Disney haul, then you'll know that I had um, started collecting the new princess cups um, in Disney Store. I don't know why that took me so long to figure out where I bought it from, but from the Disney Store. And I got the Ariel one last time, and I got Sleeping Beauty this time. And there's just Sleeping Beauty on the front. Um, you can see like the squirrels, the three fairies. Um, there's like a crown, and on the back it says a heart full of song. Uh, I'm trying to be careful because I actually have tea in it. Um, so it's just really pretty. The handle is so nice as well. And these are £8. So there's Ariel, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Snow White and... What the hell? Ariel, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Cinderella and Belle. My god, and Belle. Um, pardon me. Woo, too much tea. Um, and Belle. So if you want to start collecting them, you're in Disney Store and they're £8. I went to the desk at the Disney store and said, will I start collecting this collection and then end up with three out of the five like I normally do? And he was like, no, no, we'll get a new princess cup collection in 
every summer and then at Christmas they all go in sale and I was like oh and he was like but they literally as soon as they're tagging them just disappear because they're like less than half price so I know I've got till Christmas to collect them to, to collect them but I'm not gonna wait till they're in the sale because they'll just sell out I think like I'll not be able to get them and then I'll not have any but if you do want them but you don't want to pay a pound for them try and keep going around Christmas like to the Disney store and you might not have them in the sale so thank you for that Disney man that was very helpful so the last item is an amazingly special item um oh I missed out on the first um release of these of course it is the irregular choice Alice in Wonderland. That was terrible singing. I wanted the um, the flower heels as well and I could not afford them. And really I shouldn't have got these either. But the boots I wanted were nearly 300 and the other boots I wanted in this one were over 300. And I was just like, I can't afford that on shoes. Um, so these ones I've seen, well I'll show you them first and then I'll explain how I got them really cheap. They come in a box like this. I'm going to display this. I don't know where because clearly I have no room. I need a second shoe room. Yes, I do. So you just pull them out like this. Oh, it comes in really nice Alice in Wonderland tissue paper. I haven't worn them out, but I've tried them on. Take them out. My God. Ah, how is the rabbit hairs on them? I'm going to kill them that rabbit they are like patent blue navy and white stripes and then there's Alice and it's like a fabric on the front of this one so yeah and they are glittery chunky glitter heels like that's textured and on the back it says curiouser and curiouser Also on this one but I can fix this this is sticking up but I'm gonna just glue that down so there's a couple of little things it's like me but um like when you pay a lot for them as well it's a bit annoying but they're sold out and I need them in my life wanted all of them couldn't afford most of them like most people I would imagine like, I know that shoe release some of the irregular choice collections I went on shoe and these ones were on shoe so on shoe you get student discount and you get free delivery. I can't remember how much they were meant to be, maybe 120. I got 10 or 20% student discount, can't remember. And I got these for literally just a couple of pound over a hundred pound rather than the 120 or 30 that they were. And I got free delivery. And they were like they, they've sold out now on the Irregular Choice website, but I don't know if they have on the shoe website. So bear that in mind, if there is some shoes that you want in a collection from now on. If they're on the shoe website and you're a student or you know a student, use their student discount and get free delivery. And you can get them delivered to store so you can go and try them on. And then if they don't fit, just give them straight back rather than having to send them back. So I try to get all my regular choice now is from the shoe, but it just depends if they have them because they don't have the whole collection. They're my amazing shoes and I'm in love with them. I declare it now. I actually forgot to mention it last month in my Disney haul that I actually got those irregular choice R2-D2 shoes which I'm pretty sure that they're in view because Star Wars is technically Disney now and um, so these are also a regular choice my sister got me these thank you Amy love you and um, I really wanted them couldn't afford them and Amy got me them so Amy you're a lifesaver they're just like glittery there's some of the um, I can't remember the name but the spaceships on spaceships that sounds so bad but ships like on it it's mesh and then there's R2 on it and there's obviously like the original artwork underneath as well on the sole Sixty-nine, or were they two hundred and sixty-nine? I can't remember. My sister got them for me because I really wanted them, and these are an extremely early Christmas present. They're not available on a regular choice anymore, or shoe, as far as I know. So if you really want them, they are available on eBay. But anyway, that was my Disney haul um, for this month. Thank you so much for joining me again. Um, I'm so excited to go to Disney next week. Um, but when you're watching this, it'll be in three days' time. 
oh my god I'm so excited so look out for vlogs because I will be vlogging it so if anybody wants to know how I managed to go to Disneyland Paris from up in the northeast for really cheap then just like let me know like once I've done the vlogs and once I've been there like obviously you'll see how I've done it and if you want more information um, I will do videos on like who I've gone with like different ways I would recommend doing it if you live further away up the country. If you just want to know any information once I've been, I can't promise anything because I haven't been yet, but I will do that for you, just let me know. And I'm really excited and I can't wait to go. So yeah, I'll stop rambling about Disneyland now because I'm just really excited. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a lovely day. I am going to continue dreaming about going to Disneyland, I am so excited and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.